described as one of the finest forwards ever to play the game with six All Ireland medals and five consecutive All Stars. He was also named on the GAA's Hurling Team of the Century in 1984 and Team of the Millennium in 1999. Kilkenny's Eddie Kerr is with us. You're very, Good very to see you, welcome. Eddie. Thanks, Claire. Thanks, when, you, when you hear all of your achievements <laughs> listed, listed out like that, it must overwhelm even you. You've had such yeah. a fantastic hurling career. Ash, it was great. It lasted a long time from, well, at senior level from 59 to 77. So uh, a lot of great things happened during those years. But like most Kilkenny uh, men, you had a hurl in your hands when you were just about able to walk. Three or four yeah. you started? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I lived in the village of Innesteeg. And there's a lovely square out, fr out front, and we, that's where we started hurling. So um, from then on, it was sort of going to school and playing underage school teams, and then St. Kieran's College and well, minors. A, a, huge, a huge tradition of hurling in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, magnificent. And we had a wonderful coach who was the father of coaching, really, Father Tommy Marr, who is still alive and well. And, uh, and uh, there's a book being brought out about him this year, or next year, actually. But he was the father of coaching, and he, I was under his coaching uh, while I was in St. Kieran's. And later he coached the Kilkenny team to um, and the many All-Irelands, six or yeah. seven All-Irelands. Yeah. You, you were a minor in 59. Nine, that, yeah. that, was your, that was your first big test. Yes. Yeah, well, I was actually... If you look at the screen there, oh, yeah. Eddie, you, you can see here we have some footage from... Oh, from, oh this is 1976. This is a bit late. Is this 59? No, it's 59, I'd say. 59. Yeah. 59 it is, yeah. That's what we're looking yeah. at there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was my debut in the senior. Uh, uh, no, actually, I think that was 63, yeah. uh, that footage. Um, but I, I made my debut in 59. This is the last drawn All-Ireland senior All-Ireland in, in hurling. Uh, Kilkenny and Waterford drew. I was playing the minor that day. And then I was brought onto the panel for the, for the replay in October 1959. And that was my first uh, match with the seniors. And of course, you made a bit of broadcasting history because you were a, a part of the game that was first broadcast in colour in 71 uh, against really? Tipperary. Tipperary, yeah. correct, yeah. I didn't realise that. There you <laughs> go. So you learn something <laughs> there you every go. day. Yeah. 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 There was always a great kind of rivalry between yourselves and Tipperary mm. because you're so close as well. Yeah, uh, they talk Still about the rivalry <laughs> there, there now. They should have experienced the rivalry in the 60s. It's terrific. But all those guys are great friends or great friends now and, and in fact uh, a great man who died there uh, John Doyle with eight All-Ireland medals a great hero of mine uh, there's a book being launched by him tomorrow night in Thurless uh, by John Harrington so um, it's great uh, hurling and sport in general is great for meeting people even your most bitter enemies on the field become <laughs> yeah. your greatest friends later on and you meet great people uh, you know, uh, through your and uh, through your sporting career and afterwards as well. Of course, well. Tipperary wasn't the only team that Kilkenny had a, a big rivalry with Cork as well. I think we can see you scoring um, against Cork now. This is from 1972. Right. And talk us through this, Eddie. Uh, well, that's Ray Cummins going in there, scoring a goal. Uh, you were allowed hand pass a goal that time. Martin Coogan coming out, clearing the ball. This is a free, I think I got. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, we, you had blood in your jersey there. What happened to you? Well, I got a tip. There was, this tip. Was before helmets <laughs> came in. Um, there was a goal there. I think it was shown early on where I rounded uh, Tony Marr, and Tony had his hurl up a bit when I was rounding. I got a nick on the side of the the temple, and uh, one of a many. Bleed, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> there's a blood and ensued. So um, no, it was great. Uh, Tony and I are great friends. Uh, we're all. Great friends with all those Cork guys, all the McCarthys, Ray Cummins, yeah. Dennis Call, and all great names. Mm -hmm. And of course, when I was growing up, Christy Ring was the man that we all looked up to as our hero from Cork. Yeah, mm -hmm. did you hop off him any time? Uh, I played against him once in, 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 in 1962 league final. Cork were out of a, a bit uh, for, for a while in the late 50s and early, seven, early 60s, but... Um, we played, uh, Kilkenny and Cork met in all our, our uh, league final in 62, so Christy uh, had the honour of playing on the same field as him. Yeah. Well, we can bring you up to 1975 now, and we have some footage of a game against Galway um, to take a look at next. Here we go. Oh, the, pic the picture's improving. Yes, yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> We're into colour, yeah. That's Mick Crotty. Yeah. It was Brian um, Cody who cleared that ball. Uh, yeah. Um, 
What, what is it about oh, Brian Cody? He just has such a, a great way with players and training teams for All Ireland. He's fabulous. Like he's a great. Um, well, he loves the game of hurling. Yeah. Obviously, he wouldn't be in it so long. He was a great hurler in his own time. Um, uh, uh, but then he, he, he took all his skills onto the coaching and, and managing of teams and his record speaks for himself, you know, uh, when he came in in the late 99, I think it was, up to the present day. Fantastic record. Will you tell us about your meeting with Muhammad Ali? <laughs> Well, uh, the, uh, Muhammad Ali was fighting Al Blue Lewis in the uh, in Croke Park, and I think they were doing a bit of publicity for for the for the the fight. And we were playing in the All Ireland final that year, so th they asked me out to uh, do some publicity shots of where he was staying, uh, and um, I was supposed to go out and show him how to play hurling. So I met him after, before, and he was lovely, quiet guy. Totally different from what you'd yeah. expect. And, and uh, I met him and he said, I've seen your game on television. He said, that's a tough game. <laughs> and I was thinking of him going in with Sonny Liston and <laughs> yeah. Joe Frazier and stuff, you know. But so we, we did a few little skills. I was trying to show him how to rise the ball and hit the ball. And then he came up to me because the press were all around. He said, put on a show now for this. Uh, he whispered to me and he started attacking me with the hurl. So we had, uh, there's a few great shots of, of the, so he's, I got him to sign that hurl and I'm sure it's the only hurl in the world. I'm sure it is, yeah. precious item. Yeah. Martin Roach uh, emailed us to say that you're one of the best hurlers that he has ever witnessed on the field of play. So that's very nice, nice that's to hear. Lots to of hear people that, delighted. I wonder if he's from Tipper Cork. I Sounds wonder, I wonder. <laughs> What's your involvement with the GAA now? I mean, obviously you're in retirement and you're enjoying yeah. great health. We had a, a chat earlier on, you're in good form. So do, do you just watch the game now as, as everybody else or do you, do you have an involvement at all? Well, I'm vice chairman of the Kilkenny GA Supporters Club. I go to watch all their training sessions and their matches, of course. I'm involved in our own club, but not at, uh, not at a hurling level now. I'm, we're, we've built a community centre uh, in in Esteeg, and in the rural part of the parish, we've done a big job on the pitch there. So I'm involved at that level, but I'm involved in other things. I'm chairman of the sports arena in Limerick University, and they have a f wonderful facilities down there. They have just opened three marvellous all-weather pitches, full GA pitch, two soccer pitches, Fantastic. rugby pitch. So I, I, I enjoy my association with Limerick University, a great sporting yeah. university. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have a lot of things on my plate, <laughs> yeah. which I enjoy doing, obviously. And you're a great ambassador for, for the GA and for sport generally, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Claire. Good to have you in, Eddie. Thanks, Thank Dad. you very Thank much you. indeed. Next week... Uh,